Okay, so have you heard the news about Google's new operating system, Aluminium OS? Well, looks like the rumors were true. Google is planning to create an operating system for PCs, laptops, or large screen touchscreen devices, which will be a combination of Android and Chrome OS. And combine them, you get Aluminium OS. Well, why not Titanium or Silver? Or maybe there are a lot of other cool names in the periodic table, aren't there? But leaving that, well, my opinion about the name doesn't matter here because what actually matters is what Google is trying to do. Now, as we've already seen, Android has got this desktop mode, taskbar, floating windows, snappy windows. But still, still Android, it is made for mobile devices, touchscreen devices. At the very extent, you have Android tablets like OnePlus Pad 3 or things like that. And that's it. That's what Google has been able to achieve. Beyond that, when I talk about other things which are like beyond Google, are the Samsung devices, you know, like Samsung Dex. That's the main idea in my opinion. Like in my opinion, Samsung Dex is perfect reference. I can take to explain you how a desktop using Android should look like. A proper taskbar with a sort menu, with proper functions, with desktop capabilities. And yet still, no matter how much we go on, it is still Android, still made for mobile devices. And that is the main problem Google is trying to fix. Create an operating system powered by Android, which would work like other desktop operating systems on laptops and PCs. Now, we already know about Chrome OS, and to be honest, it was a failure and a success in multiple ways. Like, my first experience with Linux was on Chrome OS. Even the first video on YouTube which I created on some other channel maybe was about Chrome OS Plex. And I have used Chrome OS for 1.5 years on my Windows laptop. Like I installed it way before when Android applications were not even avail available. I only had a web browser and that's it. Most of the applications I used were web and I used it without internet most of the time. A web-based operating system being used without internet. I did that for almost one year or 1.5 years. But that actually made me understand that what if I had Android applications on my laptop? I would sparkle with joy. And now when we do have that, I'm not happy at all. Now when you see Android applications running on Chrome OS, you feel like, yeah, it's just a mobile application running on Windows or a desktop using emulation. It's not real. It's not native. And even the Android applications are not made for PCs. But that is changing. Have you recently noticed, like, on Chrome OS devices or Android applications, when you open them on large screens like tablets, they are well optimized to utilize the amount of space just like Windows software, but way better. They are more interactive. They look good. They feel good while using them. And even Android games which you see have keyboard and mouse support, I can't believe it. For example, Free Fire Max, it has native keyboard and mouse support. If you install it on an x86 powered Chrome OS or Chromebook device or Android device, yep, you can play it with that. But then in the end, that's the problem. Like, we're trying to transform a mobile operating system to get working on a PC. While what we should actually aim for is a brand new operating system which is first-handedly made for PCs and laptops, not for mobile touchscreen devices. And that is where Aluminium OS comes in. But you see, that's the thing. The world is changing. Now, when you see an operating system, especially powered by Google, you can easily imagine that it's going to be deeply and heavily integrated with AI at its core level. You get AI, Nano Banana, or maybe Notebook LM, or all the other AI features of Google, or services will be deeply integrated into the operating system. And that means this is Google's attempt to create an operating system with on-device intelligence. Something which, well, Microsoft has been trying to do. You know, have you heard that Microsoft is actually aiming to create Windows in a way so that maybe one day you will not have to even touch the device and operate and use your Windows machine just from your voice or maybe actions expression you will dare it to do something and if you do it something like that and to be honest like it is what google is trying to do here is nearly the same and different as well 
You see, Microsoft is trying to get everything voice automated. You don't have to touch keyboard and mouse. While Google is trying to equip an operating system with features, with abilities to use AI at its very depth. Both of them look pretty same on the surface level, but are very different when you actually get to use them. Now, no one has used them yet, as of I know. But you see, that is where I feel bad because since it's AI, since it's so much going on, maybe you might end up having pricing plans for an operating system like Pro, Premium, Professional, Business, Basic, Go, or I don't know what not. So you're likely to get a different version or maybe like variations of Aluminium OS on devices at different price segments, obvious reasons. That's what everybody does. Just take Samsung for example. One UI is very different when it comes to budget phones, mid-range phones and the higher level. And you know like till now we had the option to use Android as the main operating system for our desktops. Like I remember watching ETA Prime create a full budget machine just to run Android on that machine. Like yeah, he did that. And even right now, you have the ability to install Prime OS or Bliss OS or other Android-focused operating systems which are made to run on PCs with s series hardware. You have the option, but Android is not ready yet. You will not be able to use it to its full potential. Use your hardware to its full potential because the software is not that good. And now let me just give you the most, the biggest problem of this whole idea. And it's not about the operating system, it's not about the interface, it's not about, you know, Android or anything. It's about the applications you will be able to use on that. It's going to be Android, so it's obvious, like, you won't be able to use desktop level applications on that. And Google has not been, like, how can I say this, like, just take Apple for example. In iPadOS, you had DaVinci's or Studio, Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere Pro, which is DaVinci, Photoshop, full flesh version. Illustrator and many more desktop level applications which work so similar to what desktops do with the like with actual performance of the desktops as well M2, M3, M4 level performance on iPads or sometimes better in benchmarking so you can imagine like Apple gives you the option to use iPadOS as a replacement for your PC it gives you the ability to use desktop things on that iPad and Google has been unsuccessful in doing that. What? Well, why I'm talking about Google, the whole Android market right now only serves to mobile devices or touchscreen devices and even just tablets. It's not able to utilize the full potential of what it can actually do. We don't have proper video editing software like the Bing Resolve Studio, Final Cut. We don't have that level of performance as well on most of the Android devices. But still, what about those who does? What about those which comes with flagship level processors? They have the ability to do that. So why not they getting the option? Well, because Android is not ready yet. That's it. Well, I know I spoke a lot and most of it was like going here and there. I was getting way far than the actual topic. But now you do understand the current position of Android ecosystem and how is it going to react with the news of aluminium OS. And what can you expect? Even if Google were to make the most beautiful, the most functional, usable and amazing operating system in the world, you don't have the desktop level applications to actually run on that system. That's the main problem. That's what we should aim to fix that. Now, we can't do anything. Just try to ask companies to create applications for Android. Well, the day Android becomes sufficient, the day Android becomes worthy of creating desktop level applications, companies will do that without any problem. So yep, I believe that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments what you think about it. Now, I know I've been creating talking head videos a lot recently, but I just wanted to talk about these things with you guys. So yeah, and if you have any suggestions on what to create next or anything, I'm all this. And I'll meet you in the next video. Till then, I'm Moon signing out.